Hi Harmonies, Victoria here. Thanks for joining. Go and grab yourself a yoga mat, maybe a little bit of space, a glass of water. I'll see you in a moment for some yoga guided sequences. See you soon. So first of all, let's just activate the body by simply swinging the body round from side to side. So I've got my feet fairly wide, about shoulder width apart, and my feet are pointing into the corners of the room. And then I've got soft knees, and I'm gently swinging from side to side. Now this is a lovely warming up activation to help align my spine, wake up the body, the muscles, bring some warmth on this very cold frosty day. We've had a sharp frost overnight when I was walking my spaniels this morning. It was minus six and a very frosty ground, beautiful hill. I took a lovely couple of photos. So maybe stretching a little bit further, you'll notice that my heel is coming off the floor a little at the back. So coming round and you'll notice my arms are loose. I'm not using the muscles, I'm just using the arms as levers. They're helping my spine rotate, twist round. Oh, lovely, warming, stretching, swinging round. And you'll notice you'll be breathing more deeply. Allow the lungs to inflate. And then coming back to the center. Lovely, we're going to carry on now with a few shakes. I do like the activation shaking. So starting with the hands and wrists, coming up the forearms, elbows, oh, up arms and shoulders, letting that shake out. Fantastic. And now hold on to something if you wish, or else imagine you're holding on to a shelf raising one foot and swinging, shaking into that foot, the ankle and up into the lower leg and the knee and the upper leg. Bringing it down and the other one. Hold on to that imaginary shelf. Oh, lovely, nice and warm. Swinging and shaking. I can feel the sun on me. It's lovely. And now shaking into the whole body, into those hips, <laughs> up into the torso, the spine, the shoulders, and then turning the head a little to loosen the neck and the throat. Ah, oh, fantastic. A whole body shake. And now we're going to point into the opposite corners. So I've got very wide legs, just about the width of the mat. And I'm coming up and pointing with one arm as it stretches across and up. And I can feel the scapula, the shoulder blade at the back, reaching and separating, creating some space between my shoulder blades. And then as you stretch, just widen your palm as well, stretching out the fingers. Oh, this feels great. So bringing in some movement, activation, letting your heart rate rise a little. Feel that warmth circulate around your body. Lovely. And now maybe the bottom corners of the room. Just swinging. And you can see my knees are soft. They're bending in between each point. So I'm pointing, bending, pointing, bending. And I'm letting my heel come off the floor and pointing the toe as I reach 
to the fullest extent. Lovely. And a shake to bring yourself back. And now I'm going to do one of my favorite activations. I'm going to step forward and back. Forward and back. So my left foot is planted still on the floor and it's only my right foot that comes forward and back. Forward and back. <sighs> And now I'm going to add my arms. As I come forward, my arms are going to swing up and down and up and down. So at the front they come up and at the back they come up. And you can get a nice arm swing momentum going here. And now you'll find your breath will automatically tune into this movement. So I'm breathing in at the top, out at the bottom. In and out. <sighs> lovely, a lovely arm swinging exercise as if it takes us back to when we were monkeys. Swinging those arms moving around the trees, making some nice noises at one with our community. <laughs> Feeling good. We're going to stop at the front with our arms up, breathing in and down. And we're just going to stretch the back leg. I'll turn for you. So I'm stretching through the back calf, through the back of the knee, into the back of the thigh and I'm bending into my front leg so that my knee doesn't come any further forward than my toe and I'm just going to widen my legs so that I create more stretch in that back calf and I'm pushing my back heel down into the ground in order to create more stretch there that feels really good couple of breaths And now bending more into the front, raising the, opposite, the other leg. And I'm going to now plant my other foot. I'm going to plant my right foot and I'm going to come forward and back with my left foot. Hope you're having a good day. I hope you've got something nice planned. Even if you've got a busy day and lots of activity, make sure you've got something tranquil and relaxing to look forward to later on. So we're going to bring the arms in. So as we come forward, the arms come up and down, up and down. Beautiful. I can feel all your energy. You're joining in, you're enjoying some movement. Maybe some of these movements you haven't introduced to your body for a little while, so you might find some stiffness there. And just go at your own pace. Do what feels good for you. Maybe slow it down a little. Ah, maybe reduce the movements so that your arms are simply coming to the level of your shoulders, no higher. That's okay. If you have high blood pressure, just be careful raising your arms above the level of your shoulders. So you might want to bring your arms just gently in this fashion. Or if you're feel, feeling athletic and fit, then bringing your arms a little higher. Lovely, we're going to stop at the front, bring the arms down, relaxing the hands to the top of the the leg on the thigh and stretching the other leg. So I'm going to bend more into my front knee and I'm pushing down into my back heel, feeling that stretch all the way down through that back leg. I particularly feel it in, in the calf. Feeling good. Lovely. 
Okay, so now we're going to go into an EBR3, an energy block release three, which is also called awakening the heart. So standing with feet hip width apart, knees just off lock, pelvis tilted forward in that fashion. That's it. Nice long spine, just how we do when we meditate. Shoulders separated and dropped. Arms long, hands relaxed. And the neck is long, the chin is level. We're not bringing our chins up or particularly down. We're not tilting our heads. And then slowly bringing the hands into prayer position at around the level of the heart. and simply tuning into this moment of peace and accepting that all of the love of the universe above you and below you is coming to your heart right now and affirm to yourself, I accept this moment of peace. slowly opening your hands, letting them drop to the sides. You should be feeling nice and warm after the activations and centered after the beautiful prana masana. So now we're going into a windmill scoop. We're going to bring our hands above our head. If you have high blood pressure, just bring them to the level of the shoulders. And the, for those of us that we're feeling fit today, bringing them above the head with the palms facing above you. Soft knees, and we're going to gently turn the body in the direction that the hand is coming down behind us. We're scooping the knees down as the hand reaches the lowest part, and then the hand scoops up sunlight and joins the other hand and then we're turning again scooping down scooping up sunlight joins the other hand and then we're breathing in as our hand is coming up turning the hand and breathing out as the hand drops down And this feels wonderful. It really feels like we're scooping up sunlight, instilling it in our hearts, remembering that this sequence of asanas, of yoga postures, is all about awakening the heart. Breathing out and breathing in. Breathing out and breathing in. Breathing out and breathing in. And you can bring in as much energy as you like into this. And that can be energetic response, how you're feeling in your heart, or it can be a motivational energy. So you might want to bring a little bit more muscle power into the arms as they're scooping round and into the legs as they're dropping and rising. You might want to speed the activity up. Do it at your own pace. And as I said earlier, if you want to do this at the level of your shoulders, then continue in this fashion, breathing out and in. Out. 
out and in, out and in. Lovely windmill scoop, wonderful. And then just stretching through the sternum and across the upper ribs to stretch out that chest that's been working so hard for us. And we're just going to turn one of our hands. I'm going to start with my right hand and the palm is now facing me. And I'm looking into my palm as if I'm looking into a mirror. I'm seeing myself. My knees are gently off lock. My hips slightly tilted like before. Shoulders are dropped. I haven't got them up round my ears. And I'm going to breathe in. And as I breathe out, I'm going to bring that hand around me as far as I can to the back and only go as far as is comfortable for you. And then I'm going to breathe out as I come back looking in my mirror the whole time and then I'm going to alternate the hands one palm faces away one palm faces towards me as I breathe in again looking into the palm behind me and breathing out I'm going to turn so you can see me more fully And sometimes when I'm doing this, I'm thinking about the different eras of my life. And maybe when we have the mirror behind us, we're looking to our past. And maybe when we have the hands just here, we're looking at how we are now. So that as we move backward, backwards through the decades, we're looking back at our beautiful life and then bringing ourself back into the present. Turning again, another couple. And this is a beautiful grounding exercise for me. I feel like it helps me have perspective on my life. It helps me balance memories of the past with activities of today, thoughts and feelings and harmony so that all that has been and is and will be is at peace and all is sitting comfortably with me. And with hands in front of us, palms now facing our hearts, we're going to awaken the heart by breathing in as the palms come towards our hearts and breathing out as we push our heart energy and spread it, share it around. Breathing in and out and in and away this is called anahata breath it's a beautiful movement that i feel really equates my heart it helps to balance and harmonize the activity of my heart, the circulation, as it pumps blood around the body, but it also helps to assimilate the heart energy, love, passion and healing. It helps me to spread healing as far and wide as possible, but also within myself. Sometimes we forget to 
send healing to ourselves. And that is most important because from that beautiful place of a healed body, we can then be in the best possible, possible position for sending out healing to others. So sharing the love and accepting. Breathing out and in. You might feel a warmth, like a sensation that you are grappling with something within your palms, within your fingers, as you're pushing that energy away and pulling it in. Wonderful. And now, as we have hands facing each other, we're going to breathe in and out. And again, at the level of the heart. And this is all about awakening the heart using this beautiful asana of ocean waves. And maybe you'll notice that the hands can come a little bit further apart on each expanse. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. In and out. The hands come away and towards each other. Away and towards. Feeling that wonderful energy expand and contract. And again, are you grappling? Are you feeling that tactile energy between your fingers and palms? Can you feel like you have that warmth between your hands, you're molding it. Maybe you're confining it, maybe it's bouncing back. Maybe you're expanding it, stretching far and bringing it back again. Wonderful. Now we're going to the heaven and earth stretch. I'm going to put one palm facing to the sky one palm facing to the earth. Knees are bent and as they stretch, so do the arms. Palms facing away and towards each other as they come back. Turning to alternate the hands. Stretching through the back of the knees, maybe onto the tiptoes bringing the hands back to face each other and away. This is called the heaven and earth stretch. And breathing out to push that energy away and back to face each other and again out. Breathing in to come back, you're doing so well. And again, you may want to bring more energy into this. So perhaps a little bit more muscle power with each movement. Stretching, I can feel it through the armpit and the front of the shoulder. I can also feel it through the back of the knees, stretching down the calves. Heaven and earth stretch. Fantastic. And now we're going into the archer. So we're going to have one foot forwards, the other with the toe tilted away slightly at a 45 degree angle. The front knee is bent and my arms are coming up. I'm going to look over my front hand and the palm is now going to face away from me. 
So I'm bringing the upper body up and out of my pelvis. The arms and shoulders are dropped. I haven't got them too high. They're just nicely relaxed, palm facing away. And then I'm going to bring the arm forward so that it fits, the hand fits in between my thumb and fingers, almost like I'm looking at a bow and arrow. And I'm going to curl the hand like I'm going to bring my arrow back and I'm going to stretch that front knee as I bring that arrow back. And as I let the arrow go, my hand will shoot forward and my front knee will bend. And I breathe out rapidly. So bending the fingers again, I'm going to stretch back so that my weight is on my back leg and letting the breath and the arrow go. And this time, we're going to pause at the back and we're going to think about what target, what dream or action that we would like more of in our lives. Maybe we want some more moments of peace, five minutes of peace every day. Or maybe we want a little bit of fresh air and exercise, maybe a walk outside every day. Whatever it is you'd like more of in your life, now is the time to visualize it. And now we're going to activate it by letting that arrow go. Breathing in and out. And one more time, visualizing what you would like in your life. Fantastic. Letting the arms come down. We're going to do the same the other way. So this time, bending the other knee, bringing the arms up, bending the other arm this time, and letting the back knee bend, visualizing your target, and letting it go, pulling, and one more, stretching up to the sky this time. Wonderful. Bending into the front knee, bringing the other one forward. And feet are hip width apart. I'm going to turn round for you so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to bring my arms up. We're going to go into a forward bend and only do this if you're comfortable to bend forwards. If you have any eye difficulty or glaucoma, then don't bring your head any further lower than the level of your hips. Breathing in and bending all the way forwards and just allowing your upper body weight to feel heavy and loose. You're not holding into your head, neck or upper body. And then breathing in once more, knees bend, coming up nice and slowly, stretching arms up and away with a beautiful in-breath and slowly over. If you're able to have straight legs here, then that's wonderful, fantastic. You may want to touch the floor. And slowly coming up again. And a couple more times, letting your upper body go.
And now we're going to come down onto the floor. I'm going to bring one knee down. If that's uncomfortable for you and you do have a yoga mat, you might want to double your yoga mat over, bringing that bent knee down onto the doubled yoga mat or onto a cushion if that's better for you. Um, and the front knee as is at right angles. And this is quite a strong position. I'm going to show you two or three possible alternatives. So first of all, if you're happy to be on the floor for this, then you want to bring one hand to your front knee and you're going to come with your other hand stretching away from you with an in-breath and we're going to stop at about this point here. If you're looking at a clock, it would be at about the one o'clock mark. And then I'm going to bring my hand with a strong out breath forwards to about the 11 o'clock mark. And I'm going to bring my back hip forward at the same time. This is called a thunderbolt. So breathing in. And then continuing the hand all the way around, repeating the same movement. Now, if you feel able to, a stronger position would be to have your fingers touching the earth next to your, your foot and ankle. And then you might want to touch the back of this hand to the earth. You'll notice it's slightly less movement for the hip, but still a small thunderbolt movement there. A little tip for keeping your balance here is bending your rear leg so that it's at a triangular, more solid position for supporting your movement of your body. So coming round Lovely Yeah, so bringing that foot more towards the back of you really helps you to support your movement there. If it's difficult for you to be on the ground then coming up and you might just want to do this in this fashion where you've got one knee bent, the back leg is straight, bring the arm round to the one o'clock position and that is equally as beneficial for the body. A wonderful thunderbolt movement. So there were three different positions there. We're going to do the same again on the other side. I'm going to start off with the standing position. So I'm going to bring one arm round as I breathe in and then strongly out as I breathe out. <sighs> Scooping round. Or if you want to follow the position kneeling on the floor. <sighs> Lovely. Or you may want to come down. And then coming up, and now we're going to finish off with a beautiful sunlight visualization. So bringing feet hip width apart, knees off lock, pelvis tilted forwards, shoulders down, spine long, chin level. And I'm going to bring my hands to this level of the shoulders. And if you wanted to bring your hands above your 
head to touch the sunlight, then that is equally wonderful. But just for those of us who may have high blood pressure or other shoulder issue, then just bring your hands to this level. And again, if this is uncomfortable for you, you may want to just bring your hands to your navel with palms facing upwards, accepting the sunlight. So I'm now in the best posture for a standing meditation. I'm feeling the contact of the earth underneath the soles of my feet. I'm feeling the warmth of my body following the yoga asanas. I'm feeling my heart is awakened and ready for the rest of the day. I'm feeling my mind is at rest. I'm feeling peaceful and calm. And I'm feeling sunlight on my fingers. The beautiful energy of the sun. Tuning into that golden glow and just for a few moments, enjoying some peace. Enjoying a warm shower of light descend around you and infuse through you. Glittering golden sunshine. I am at peace. I am happy. Moving the hands back into prayer position nice and slowly. Moving the fingers, rotating the shoulders, breathing more deeply. Feeling warm and relaxed. Thank you so much Harmonies for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this EBR3, Awakening the Heart. And I'll see you again next week. Let's spread a little healing.